honey. Honey? Hey guys, it's Abby B, and today I'm going to be doing a vlog of my first time coming to town after being sick and having to be tested for COVID. Luckily, I was negative, so let's do some shopping. Okay guys, so my mom ordered groceries online, so we're waiting for them in the car right now. But we picked up some Starbucks, and I got a Christmas cup. I got the strawberry ice... Acai, I cannot pronounce that word. Lemonade refresher, and let's try it. Wow guys, this is really good and I would definitely recommend. It is actually my favorite drink at Starbucks. So I did get the biggest, I got the venti. Uh, so yeah. Okay guys, so my mom also got us drinks from Starbucks. She got the chestnut praline latte in a very Christmassy cup. So I actually don't like coffee, but I wanted to try it. So let's see how this goes. I'm scared. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. It's not as horrible as I remember coffee being, but okay, I don't like the aftertaste. Blech. I do not actually like coffee. It was also very hot and burnt my tongue. So I would not get that. I would rather get this. But for those of you that like coffee, I think that would be good. I'm not a coffee expert. Okay guys, so we were looking at the Christmas clothes and like the sweaters and everything like that and I found this shirt and it's kind of, it's like a longer shirt. I got a bigger one and it's from Elf and I really, really like the Elf so I think I'm going to get it. Looks good. So now we're at home and we're going to show you a few things that we got. So we decided to start doing some Christmas shopping and we got a present for one of my cousins. And so we got, first thing we got her is this Shopee's doll. It's a swimming one. And I think she'll like this to play with all of her other dolls. We also got her this uh, notebook set thing. So it has like a gel pen, a unicorn notebook, little sparkle tape, stickers, and even a pom-pom hair tie. I think that'll be good as she's learning to write more. And we also got her this sticker activity book where you dress up all the little fairies with the little sticker clothes. So that should keep her busy for a while and it will help if there's a long car ride. So I think her mom will appreciate that too. Next up, we have this little chocolate kinder egg, which I think she'll enjoy because it's a little touch of candy and something to eat because like who doesn't like chocolate and it has a toy inside so extra bonus. And then we got a present for one of my other cousins. He really really likes trucks and so we got him this big fire truck and it has a bunch of molds that you put the play-doh into then you can make things like uh, like fire extinguishers and a bunch of like hats and there's even a dog one which would be my favorite. And it even has this little thing where like the water would come out that you can put the blue play-doh into and it like squirts out like that. 
And even if the parents don't want him to use the Play-Doh in case he eats it or pus pushes it into the carpet, he still has a whole truck to play with. So I think this is a very good present for him. And the last thing we got was for me because I saw it and I was like, this is one of the best t-shirts I've ever seen. I'll probably wear it even when it's not Christmas time just because I just love it so much. So there was lots of Christmas clothes out and I already showed you at the store, but it's the elf scene where he's in the toy store and thinks Santa's really coming. So it says Santa at the bottom. So I got, in a, got it in, a, in the large size, so it'll be bigger for me. And so it'll be a little bit oversized, which is good. I like a longer t-shirt. And so this is probably one of my favorite t-shirts now. I'm gonna go try it on for you. Okay guys, so this is the shirt. I think it looks really good. And I thought this was the perfect opportunity to grab my Christmas milk, which is super cute. And I think it looks nice. It's very long. So it will fit me for a long time. Okay guys, so this is in regards to what I said at the beginning of the video. I did end up having to get tested for COVID. This is actually the second time I've had to do that. But I just wanted to explain a little bit about how it happens in case any of you guys have to get tested for COVID. My mom called the doctor because I had, wasn't feeling good. I had a fever and I had a bit of nausea at the beginning, but it had already gone away by the time it was, but by the time I was gonna go get tested. So my mom called the doctor and they said, everyone needs to get tested for COVID just as a precaution. So my mom called the place that you go get tested for COVID. And I think there's also a website, but my mom called the place. So we got lucky and were able to go the very next day. Um, and that waiting in line is probably the most nerve wracking part because your brain is like, telling you how bad it's gonna be and it's like right around the corner and it's just, it's probably the worst part. The first time I had to get tested, it was probably, we were very unprepared because the line ended up taking about an hour. So we were just sitting in the car with nothing to do. But the second time we went, we were prepared because we had a game and stuff. It also ended up taking about an hour though, but it just seemed to go by much quicker. So what they do is when you go, when you're, cause you have to stay in your car the entire time and you go up and the people who are testing you are like fully dressed. They have like a, like a gown and they have their goggles and they have a mask and they have gloves. And I'm pretty sure they have to change most of their equipment every single time they do a test, especially their gloves. So they are really nice, especially if you seem worried because it's, they just want to let you know, like it's not the end of the world there. It's going to be okay. And it's, only for a few seconds. So they ask you a few questions. They ask you how, you're, how you've been feeling and what are your symptoms. And then they go back in to get the cotton swab. And then you, where I got tested, they were putting it up your nose till about like here. But I know in some places they put it down your throat. For me, I'm glad that they put up my nose because I have a bit of a gag reflex. So I would, probably end up like throwing up or something if they put it down my throat. So I'm glad that they were doing it down my nose. The first time they did it, it was perfectly fine. They put it up there for like three seconds and they didn't even turn it very much. And then they just took it out and it was done. The second time, I think they started being, like they started getting a bigger sample so that like they know for sure whether you have COVID or not. So they stuck it up my nose and this time they did it for longer. They did it for like, like 10 seconds or whatever, just till about here. They turn it for about 10 seconds and then they take it right back out. And the second time it was more uncomfortable than the first time. I wouldn't necessarily say it hurt, but it definitely, there were definitely was some uncomfortableness. Once they're done putting up your nose, they say like, have a good day. And they're super nice. And then you just drive away. And then I think the minimum is like three days later, you can get your result online. You can either call the place or enter like a password online on a website to get your results. I ended up being negative obviously because we went to town. Uh, if we did zoo positive, make sure, if anybody tests positive, make sure you stay home and quarantine so that we can stop the spread. But I ended up being negative 
I got my results four days later. The first time we got tested, I got it three days, which was really early. But we got it four days and it was really simple. My mom ended up rewarding me with getting me some fr some Subway, but, and the first time I got tested, she rewarded, she got me some fries. So I would say, in my opinion, it's worth it if I'm gonna get Subway or fries from McDonald's. Uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know that it's really not that bad. And if you are getting tested, you can do it. Okay guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment any ideas you have for future videos, and subscribe to make sure I don't get lost in the internet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Honey? Honey? Honey.